It is a lovely sight in the morning when the sun is shining, but the air is a bit fresh and you can see the plants swaying from the wind. And you can see colors there. Still blooming nicely. This Carl Rosenfeld peony. And I love this one. Inside there is one peony entangled by this zebra grass. Zebra grass is growing strong now. This is Rhapsody in blue, which I have introduced to you. And this is actually a new bloom just opening. And I've got the the real color of this Rhapsody in blue. And it smells really fantastic. I'm standing here with a mask and I can smell the fragrance of this. I think one down here opens too. The fragrance of this flower, Rhapsody in Red, is incredible. You know what it smells like? It smells like a fresh orange. That's how I can describe this. Wow, it's a powerful uh, fragrance of this Rhapsody in Blue. Good afternoon everyone. Welcome back to Rose Garden Chants. I'm Gemma. Today is cloudy and we have 19 degrees. It's nice because this morning I was able to smell some of the roses that are in full bloom. My garden is situated in Lower Franconia, here in Germany. And 
as the season is slowly changing from spring to summer and the increasing temperature the face of the garden changes too so at this corner you know already the two roses here this rhapsody in blue and for your eyes only there are some more roses there they're still forming buds and here at this corner i've got actually about um, five roses here and this was so beautiful in spring this was all covered with forget-me-nots and then as you can see as the temperature rises the roses and all these uh, perennials are also growing and this is Centrantus Rube Albus this is actually a perennial and it's coming out every year uh, strongly the growth is so fantastic but you have to control it so in this area now is the time that I'm going to get all the faded forget-me-nots they were beautiful early spring and now they are actually uh, producing seeds and I have to remove that this will come out again next year but now it's time to uh, clean up this area and cut the dead head the, the lilac I had to do a dead heading from the lilac and then clean the area here that my roses can breathe uh, this kind of uh, environment can cause um, disease to the roses now I've got here black spots but um, I don't have to panic I just have to remove uh, the seeds and clean up all this forget-me-not so this area will become airy I don't use um, fungicide or insecticide in my garden all these black spots and rust I just uh, remove all the leaves and throw it in a special garbage not in the compost but uh, this one needs some uh, uh, support here this lovely perennial with beautiful white flowers I will tie them along the fence together with this clematis I've got a clematis here which is a nice color and then they will form a flower wall for me and then the roses will be freed from congestion here so the number eight rose that i'm going to introduce to you fellow rosarians is a tree rose which has a very thick trunk because it's already 10 years in my garden it had withstand a uh, strong uh, wind and storm and it's still proudly standing here now now this one is from a French grower and we have some buds but one of the uh, buds opened up uh, I think uh, two days ago and this is now in its full bloom I smell this rose this morning 
and it has an incredible, as always, the most fragrant rose in my garden. I, I got some too, a few of the roses, but this one is a fantastic fragrant. It has a, a sweet, or we can describe it as a fruity and a lemon uh, fragrant, but it's um, very strong that uh, when you smell it, it's right away on your nose. And the, the bloom itself has a lot of beautiful petals. The color is dark pink and the bloom itself is so big. This is a hybrid tea rose and the name of this uh, rose was given in honor of a French uh, singer called Line Renault. And it has another name in Germany. It's called Elb Florence. Now this was given in honor of a German city, which is situated uh, near the river Elbe. So this is called Elb Florence. So this rose was introduced in the market 2006 and then 2007 it got its um, ADR certificate. Now ADR certificate means Allgemein Deutsche Rosen Neuheiten Prüfung. In English uh, you can translate it as uh, General German Rose Novelties Trials. Now I will discuss more about ADR in the future. I will allocate one video to discuss with you ADR roses. In the year 2008, Elf Florence got the Best in Fragrance Award in Paris. Elf Florence uh, comes from Mayo. It's a French uh, rose grower. The number nine rose that I'm going to share with you guys is quite uh, well known internationally or even globally. A lot of people love this rose. It's also coming from Mayo, from a French uh, rose grower. It is, this was created by Marie Louise Mayo in the year uh, 1985. This rose is also known for its name Pierre de Ronsard. For me this rose has a nostalgic flair. As you can see it starts with a bud even if it's still close has already a round form a nice round form and it has this color when it opens a color of cream white with a shade of green light green and um, shades of pink and when it opens a little bit it has this dark pink in the center of the blooms And when it is half open, you will get this beautiful round shaped bloom. And it has this white cream color with a beautiful shades of pink in the center. And this rose is actually um, heat resistant and rain resistant and it maintains its forms uh, as a round uh, flower. 
but worldwide it is known for its name Eden 85. So when Eden 85 opens, it retains its uh, round form. Now this is half open. But you can see already that this has countless petals in the center of the bloom. And the cream white color is still there, but the soft pink color is now uh, can be seen in the center of the bloom. So a beautiful, romantic, nostalgic rose. I got this rose nine years ago. I have uh, three of them in my garden. Two with the shrub rose, which I'm trying to grow as a um, climber. But this rose was hit by um, severe uh, frost. I think that was two years ago when we had uh, uh, minus 26 in Germany. And in my area was minus 19. And I think it was the longest uh, frozen uh, winter that I have experienced. Uh, it, it was about uh, 10 days uh, with the minus 19 day and night. So, so this was hit by a freezing winter last two years ago. But what I did um, the next uh, year, spring, I cut it really low down at the base and it did um, heal and is now growing nicely. So I've got two shrub rows and one uh, mini climber, which I'm going to introduce to you in my next video. And an 85 rows can get really bushy up to 150 centimeter uh, wide and can grow up to the height of 200 uh, centimeters. But the rose is placed in a uh, not nice, uh, not nicely position here because she is shaded. Although it's airy, but I've got a lot of rose in this area. So they are fighting for their place, which is not nice. Guys, I like this flower so much. This is Eden 85. Or Pierre de Ronsard. And with the lovely growth of my lavender, I'll say my goodbye to you and take care, everyone. Bye.